Hi, Pop. Let's go out of the way now. Out of the way. Eh, eh, out of the way. <laughs> okay, stop. That's where Raksha sleeps at night when she gets cold, if she ever gets cold. That's where Go sleeps at night, if and when she gets cold. Or... So since the weather is pretty pretty good, I'll let these guys out, give them the chance to run around, and then I'll call them right here. So usually I'll just give them food, uh, like in their food container. Usually just fill this thing up. But since uh, we have, uh, or the weather is good today, um, I also let them run around and I just give them some food outside. Uh, next thing, of course, is we'll make sure they have clean water. Uh, yeah. Okay. They have... I filled this up yesterday, so I'll just... Uh, Alright, I'm 
I'm just going to rinse that. This is uh, where I get my water. It's connected all the way to the back or back of the house. Um, at some point this was connected, but uh, the connector broke, so I'm gonna have to fix that as well. Pretty cold today. It's probably um, 40 degrees out here. Raksha? No? Go to your bed. Now? That's not your food. I'll give you some food. Come on. Stop eating the chicken food. I just keep the uh, water clean uh, and the ducks really love to have their tub of water so they can bathe in it they really don't care um, whether even if it's like cold or freezing they don't care they want to bathe pretty much every day Duckies, come here. As soon as they see this water, they're gonna go nuts. All right, girl, that girl's already decided. There you go. So that girl heard what's going on. Hey, I'm joining in. So that's usually how my day starts here. Uh, make some breakfast, take care of the kids, and then go out here, feed the chickens, the ducks. Um, oh yeah, of course. Um, now we need to take care of these puppies. Come on, pups. One thing I would like to fix here is that slope. Uh, it's really very dangerous to walk around here um, when it's wet or there's just ice. So I'm planning on uh, building uh, on this existing retaining wall all the way that way and just flat that or level that area to minimize, uh, uh, you know, fall during wet or snowy seasons. And uh, now we need to give some food for the puppies because otherwise they'll eat or compete um, with the chickens. Let's see.
dogs are set. We can play with them later. Let's go check out the cats. The cats are right here. And they're like really excited to get out right now. Um, I usually just let them out when I'm in the office. This is actually my office, which became kind of their house for the time being. Hey kitties. Let's see. Uh, they are the new addition in the family. This is Trix, the trickster. He loves cuddles. Hmm. Okay. Let's turn on some light and get some light in here. Usually as soon as I open that door, they all run away, especially Tux right there. Trix, that guy right there, is uh, the one who loves to cuddle. He, as soon as you open the door, he, he goes to you. Uh, this is Garth. Uh, she, she's all right, she likes cuddles too, but not as much as uh, Trix. Uh, she loves doing this. Just playing. Hey, hey Garth. Hey Garth. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that, Garth? What is that? Okay. Okay. All right. She's done. And Tux, he doesn't like cuddles at all. Uh, not a big cuddle cat. But uh, I try to give them equal attention as I can. For now, they're gonna stay here, but when they're a little bigger, or maybe uh, during springtime, um, we'll let them out. Uh, we are working on building um, um, like a, a barn that will house all the animals, chicken, uh, ducks, cats, you know, dogs, everyone. They'll just be in one decent sized barn. Uh, other than food, of course, first thing I need to take care of is their poop. Um, this litter box is very good um, because it keeps the sand inside. Whatever sand we have there right now uh, was from the old litter box, so I definitely need to clean, clear that out. Probably take like five to like ten minutes with them here. Just uh, playing with them a little bit and uh, clearing out their litter box. And of course giving them food and water. See, as soon as you let them out, they'll start playing. And often they'll start um, playing with um, the router. I, again, this is my office, so I have routers, computers, and stuff like that. So. Uh, one time they knock off um, uh, my networking equipment, so I lost internet connection in the middle of the night. So um, after that incident, I never let them out without me in the office. It's not food, it's poop.
see it right now. Trix wants to play. Yep, there we go. He does that. I'm gonna need a trash bag or like a trash bin for them. So this this cat house is amazing. Um, we got it from Amazon and it keeps them inside when I don't want them running around. And it's uh, big enough for three cats. Um, as you can see, we also put like uh, uh, like a tower there. I don't know what you call that. My wife bought it, but uh, basically, uh, oh, okay, that's their pole. <laughs> it's the cat pole. So uh, they play with that a lot. If you've noticed, they actually broke all the, uh, uh, there used to be like balls in here uh, with, uh, with like bells and they pretty much destroyed that super fast. Yeah, and uh, we covered it with um, this material. This is, oh, this is a sack. And uh, this room without heating gets to like uh, probably 50 degrees. And uh, because of this cover we have on this side and on the other, it keeps them um, warmer than the room temperature. So I just give them some water and uh, right now they're really not interested in eating. They would rather run around but that's about to end. Somebody heard food. Nope, not interested. Oh, look, here is that piece which hangs right there. Right there. And they kill it, like super fast. Okay, let's put them back inside. Tricks. Tricks will always be the first one to respond. Yeah. And uh, I give him that, yeah. I give him cuddles. And you play. And you're the sweetest, huh? Yeah, yeah, huh? Massage. Yeah. yeah. So. Smile. Smile for the cat. Yeah, tricks. Tricks. Okay. Hey guys, come here. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you, guys. I know you want to stay out, but you guys keep messing my networking equipment. chewing on that uh, uh, ethernet cable and they can do serious damage and now he's hiding in the back he loves hiding here come here Tux 
Tux. Meow. 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 Come here. Come here. Tux. Okay, he, he, he knows I'm about to take him in. Yeah, there you go. Good job, Tux. Come. That's usually my trap for, for him. He loves this. He can't resist the temptation. Here. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Go get it. 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 <laughs> Good job, Tux. Say hi. I know. I know. You don't want to go back inside. I need to put you back inside. So, uh, other than in the morning, uh, I let them roam around when I'm working in the office. Uh, and uh, other than that, I keep them inside so they don't do any mischievous um, things. So that's it for the cats. And uh, now they're all fed. They all have water. Um, one thing that I'll actually do is to put water outside of the coop. So the guys, or the chickens, or ducks that are running around will have access to clean water. Once I'm, after that, I'm, I'm done. And usually those guys will be chasing each other. <laughs> oh, this is one of the silkies. Raksha, ghost, outside. Come on. Get out of there. Out. Come on, out. Yeah, the dogs usually go inside to eat some chicken poop. Uh, I don't like that. So, 
usually close this. Um, the younger hens, they can just jump out of it. The older hens usually don't jump that high, so they stay inside. And uh, that's, uh, that's pretty much about it for the start of the day. So if uh, you're watching this video, thank you for watching. And uh, again, we're, we're new in this kind of lifestyle. We used to live in LA. Uh, so if you find something in that video that we can improve on, um, uh, we welcome any suggestions and recommendations, especially for folks who, who's been doing this longer than we do, whether that's uh, taking care of your Great Pyrenees, your chickens, ducks, or cats. Um, if you've seen something in this video that I can improve, I'll definitely appreciate a comment saying that, hey, you shouldn't be doing that. That's going to be bad for them. And uh, I'll be more than happy to look into that and see how we can integrate it in our process. So thanks for watching and have a great day.